Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. We are still at Rajak Lana Resort here just kind of outside of Jakarta a little bit. The beds guys were woo, super squishy and awesome. Air conditioner was cold. I slept super good. Jules not so much. The chickens here don't know when it's nighttime man. There are a ton of roosters here. Maybe right next door and they crow all night long. Let's go get some breakfast, guys. I think we're riding in the Jeep again. No Jeep today. Bye. Sarah's gonna go. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Makasi. Jules and Seth made it. Wow, they did two people. Hey, this looks familiar. That's because we were here last night. Nice view in the morning too, guys. We've got rice, noodles. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks good. Bakwan and maybe some kind of pudding or something. Hmm, cool. Well, I was wrong, guys. That food is not for us. That's for a group of people that are coming in. We are ordering from the menu. Breakfast menu, all kinds of goodies here. Eggs, toast bread, pancakes, cornflakes, Seth. Ooh, breakfast menu here. Nasi goreng, they got fried rice, fried noodles, chicken, gudeg, all kinds of a la carte menu here. Ah, here we go, here we got some prices now. Let's see, some fruits, sliced tropical fruits, 24,900. Let's see, brown bread toast, we got eggs, we got French toast, sausage, sausage? Beef or chicken sausage, ooh, that looks good. Cornflakes, 34,000 for cornflakes. That's somewhere around two dollars and fifty cents or so. We got fried rice again. All right, the uh, first course is here, I guess. We got some fruit. Yeah. That we didn't order the fruit, did we? It comes with our drinks. Yeah. Oh, it comes with the drinks. Looks good too. It's so nice. So what do we got there? We've got some um, Melon, cantaloupe, cantaloupe and papaya, papaya and with some, some lemon lime, lime juice squeezing on them. Breakfast is here. We've got fried rice with uh, little pieces of chicken in it and a big flat uh, fried egg on the bottom, kind of like an omelet egg. We got the uh, traditional crackers here and a couple little vegetables over here, tomatoes and lettuce. We all basically got the same thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sarah got the same thing, Seth got the same thing. Except you got spicy. That's right. Mine's supposed to be, I think he said super spicy. <laughs> is it the same flavor fried rice you got last night? No, it's different. This is different. It's different. It is. This is really breakfast good. fried rice, maybe. It's different. Last night was really good, and this is really good too. Yeah. Really? Like they have really good fried rice here. Mm. I highly recommend it. Let's see here. Can we get some spiciness? We got a couple peppers in there. Nope, not very spicy. Still good. That's still good, yeah, it's still good. Got good flavor. Get some of the egg in it now. Should have got the egg the first time, I know. Yeah, it's good. Fried rice. Now we're going to a waterfall, and I think its name is called Kadung Pangilon. So let's go try it out. <laughs> cool. And we get to go in the Jeep again. Our guides here told us that the waterfall here was featured on Trans Tuju, the national uh, TV station here, as a place to come and check out, I guess. So that's cool. I can hear it a little bit. I can hear the creek anyway. Yeah, these are good stairs. And the rail, check it out, it's, like, it's sturdy. All right, here we go. Creek coming down here. Coming over here, ah, look at the waterfall right there. Well, let's cruise on down. And check it out. Nice, huh? This is the jumping area.
While we're here, let's check out the bathrooms. There you go. Oh, and this one right here is actually the bathing room where you can take a bath. I got the big box right here you can dip out of and take a bath here. We found a friend here. We love you. We love you. <laughs> cool little dog. Super friendly. Hi, huh, Sarah. She came, so we heard this dog barking, and then all of a sudden there's a dog running at me. And I was like a little scared, but I saw she was wagging her tail, and then she just jumped on me. Like, and then kept jumping up at me, like, but she was really sweet, I like her. Yeah, really, super friendly. Like, <laughs> Back here at the resort and it's time to check out. One of the cool things about this place is the pickup car. Right? I don't think it's normal anywhere really to be picked up in a Jeep Rubicon. And so uh, that is pretty cool. But we're gonna go up here, check out, jump back in the car and uh, maybe we'll stop somewhere on the way home. Before we make it home though, we're coming here to the Mongo Chocolate Museum. Cool, man. There's a lot of people here. We got busloads of people. Let's go check out the museum. The Mongo Chocolate Museum. Oh, it's AC. Oh, nice. Who doesn't love a little AC? Cool. Chocolate stuff, chocolate beans. Mm. Wyangas. Entrance. Mm. Interesting facts about where chocolate comes from. 40% from the Ivory Coast. 21% from Ghana, and then Indonesia is third with 10%. We've got the timeline of chocolate, starting in Mexico and moving across. Maybe Columbus, taking it to Europe. Ooh, advertisements. Here's the process, guys. It grows on the tree like this, and then it turns uh, ripe and they harvest it. This is actually the fruit right here, and inside these are actually the chocolate beans that grow inside of this pod. And then from there, they will take all of those beans out and they'll put them in either a box like this or a bag like that to ferment for about one week. After they're done fermenting, they wash them and then they'll be dried like this and you'll have a chocolate, chocolate bean. Nib. Here we've got a little broken up piece of bean. And then you can try different. Actually, uh, this is from the TikTok crowd. I will show you something, a package, because chocolate tastes experience. It tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Kind of woody or nutty. Like a nutty dark chocolate. So, good. Like this. so if you come here, guys, the guide here speaks good English. He'll explain it all to you. It's kind of the percentages of visual representation of the ingredients in it. So, so if you get white chocolate, right, then you're going to have a lot of cocoa butter and a bunch of sugar and then powdered milk in that as well. If you get milk chocolate, you're gonna get some powdered milk, a lot of sugar, a little bit of actual, you know, the, the dark brown chocolate stuff, and then the cocoa butter is a lot more. And then here for dark chocolate, this is 58% dark chocolate. It looks like you actually have more sugar in dark chocolate than you do in milk chocolate. But the cocoa powder here, or the, the dark actual part of the chocolate, you get a ton, and then just a little bit of cocoa butter. All right, now I think we're going into the store. You've seen how it's made, now you get to buy it. Or today you get to wait in line. Wow, super busy. Huh, yep, that's where they sell the chocolate over there. They've got kind of a cool craft thing for the kids to do here. You get to make your own chocolate, put in your nuts and your raisins and then they Squeeze the chocolate there for it to dry. I think it's time to start heading up back towards home. I want to thank Three here for the tour of the place. English is really good, guys, so if you want to come here and check it out, don't speak Indonesian. Don't worry about it, man. He can speak good English. All right, guys, we've made it home now, and it was a pretty cool place to go and check out. We want to thank Rajak Lana for giving us the opportunity to share their location with you guys. And if you're interested in going down there and checking it out on your own, the, all the information that you need is down in the description of the video. So guys, if you want to know more about Indonesia, like the places to go, the food to eat, the things to do, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a really great day. And keep smiling!